project topic is on focal cortical dysplasia. And uh, focal cortical dysplasia is a problem in brain development. And that particular problem in brain development just causes a very small uh, abnormality in the brain that may not manifest itself in any other way except for bad seizures. So it's actually the most common cause of um, epilepsy that requires epilepsy surgery. The issue with FCD, we just shorten it to FCD, focal cortical dysplasia, is that we don't really know what causes it. We think there's a genetic cause because some um, there's sort of a trail of genes that appears abnormal, but we don't know exactly why it happens. All of us at Cincinnati Children's are looking for looking out for problems that where there are gaps in information in the medical literature. And this was one that really stood out to me that I kept running into time after time and the rest of our team was very interested in. So the neuroradiologists, the neurosurgeons, lots of folks kept running into this FCD and not really understanding what the problem was behind the development of FCD. So how does the brain get that way and also are there any particular specific solutions that we could offer. One of the goals is to identify the best candidates for epilepsy surgery. In FCD, there's basically two types of abnormalities we see. One are where the neurons or brain cells actually look bizarre. They look weird under the microscope. And those patients have type 2 FCD and actually do better with surgery. Um, the other type is basically a disorganization of the brain layers. So there's six layers of gray matter, and when those get dis disorganized, then we uh, see dysplasia that's called type 1. Um, but the type 2 kids do better after surgery. Problem is that we don't identify them until after they've already had surgery, because the pathologist, the doctor that looks at the tissue under the microscope, um, can only do that sort of retrospectively. So one of the goals of the study is to find the type 2 patients before they were to have surgery and help understand whether they would be, an individual patient would be a good candidate or a bad candidate for surgery.